All right, welcome back to another episode. Thank you so much for joining us. This episode, Lee is welding the bow roller and I decide it's time to leave the boatyard. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Okay guys, here we are again. We are back in the rec room where we left off on last episode. We have a few bits of scrap metal and I'm having a little test run on these scrap pieces before I attempt the bow roller itself. And then come the moment of truth where I started on the bow roller and done my first weld. Just get a puddle start in the middle of that, yeah. back up. So he's just having a dinner break. Just brought him up some prawn pizza. How is it, babe? It's bloody delicious. Mm. And how's your welding going? Well, not as good as the pizza skills. It's not my first rodeo, mate. It's my first rodeo. <laughs> Gary's impressed. So Gary's obviously done a lot of welding and has his own welders and has had very expensive welders too. He's actually um, very impressed with the welder. He said so far, he said he's really impressed with it from what he's seen, so it's going well. Back into it. I'll watch you now. I'm filling in for Gary while he goes and eat. All right, honey, let's do this. So lots of little adjustments here and there, sharpening of electrodes, Finding myself in hand positions was one of the most challenging bits. Super neat, the star. Oh, wow. Very good. Just with that one. That was very impressive. I'm, imp I'm impressed. That was probably my best one. Well, that was the best one. That was I got a time here, honey. I got a little bit caught up just at the end. I couldn't move. Got a little carried away. Right, let's get a close up. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was impressive, honey. That one went all right. You like that one? I'm getting better and better on each one. I probably should have done a lot more practice, but I've just been too busy. I couldn't film that one, I had to hold it. I had to hold it for him. Be there to support him. Let's see how he went. It's coming around, we're coming around. It's very colorful. It's pretty. I like the colours. Oh, get too close. I like the colours. That's very pretty. Look at that blue. That's nice. Don't rub it off. That looks good. I had a couple little jolts. 
actually the bow roller that I'm working on at the moment has lots of different angles and you find yourself in all different positions really with nowhere to rest your hand so I suppose it's a bit like writing guys it's um if you got your hand on the table and you're writing a note as opposed to having your hand off the table and trying to write so I found myself in a few of those positions and it didn't help with the weld so definitely the more comfortable I was getting with my positioning the better the weld was showing up really trying to find the right position the right hand grip the right angle it's just all learning and um, yeah, I'm slowly getting there. I'm gonna film this one because apparently it's pretty good. A bit hot? Very good. No? No. No, what I was feeling for is I was feeling for undercut. But it's not undercut, it's slicked out. I mean, you're just right in there. It didn't burn in too deep. It's, it's a nice slick well. That's good well. Oh, that look, one's right past Look at you. <laughs> you got a gold star. Do you get a gold star? <laughs> Gold stuff. <laughs> I like the colour, I think you should leave the colour. We're out of Argon. Oh, the out of Argon. So this is as far as the project's gonna go tonight. Yeah. And it's getting late anyway, it's nearly ten. So did pretty good. Happy? Yeah, getting better. The last world uh was nice. <laughs> the last world was nice. He ended on a good one. Yeah. Okay, they're back at it today. And he's been over all of it, joined it all together, and now he's going to go over it one more time, yeah? Trying to make it look a little bit tidier this time. First attempt. Second attempt. Second attempt, clean it up. <laughs> Putting a few books underneath, positioning yourself before I start to weld, even doing a few little test runs before I actually hit the pedal and fire it all up. I've learnt taking my time to set up and really get the positioning right before I pull the trigger. It really gives me a better weld. So I find positioning the torch line over my shoulders and um, it just creates less pull or drag as I'm working my way along a weld. So it's all those many little things that really make a difference and yeah, like I say, it's a really big learning process of combining all these little tips and tricks. So an absolute bonus having Gary there was I could actually, we both had a helmet, so I could actually just stand back and watch him weld and watch his hand movement, watch the puddle and watch exactly what he's doing and what he's trying to achieve and then try and duplicate that when I would have a go. You got it now? Yeah. No, no pressure. No pressure at all. <laughs> <laughs> no one all right? Nothing wrong with that. Look at you. And you, well, you can lose some of your anticipate, your fear, your intrepidation because you know you're not going to burn through. Yeah. You can go ahead and give it some pedal. It's one less thing you have to worry about. And yeah, your, your timing's pretty good on your drop yeah. rod. You know, that looks okay. good. Um, that's probably my biggest critique with you is still is you're just not going. You're not getting going. Fast enough. Yeah, still yeah. waiting a little bit. But that comes yeah. with time, you know. You yeah. Right now, you're just a little bit afraid you're going to overheat it. So yeah. yeah. I've made some mistakes. I've made some good welds. I've made some bad welds. But all in all, it's turned out pretty well. I've learned a lot, uh, thanks to Gary, and I've got a long way to go. But at least we've got the ball rolling and I've got a few dimes stacked up here and there. So all in all, I'm pretty happy and uh, we'll continue on with all the boat projects that we have ahead of us with the welder. One thing I want to say is thanks, Gary. It's been awesome uh, having you over my shoulder telling me what I'm doing right, wrong, whether it's going too fast, too slow, burning holes in it, job up, whatever it may be. Thanks for your time. It's great to start the learning process and have you put in that time with us yeah thanks mate really appreciate it cleaning off all those beautiful colors that sarah wanted to uh leave on there but i feel it looks better shiny bow rollers back together they're spread they're shortened they're welded giving it a little polish up let's put her up and have a look so like i said we added these bars now the chain can't slip out they're both aligned with the gypsy now this is my first my first lot of welds I've done. They're not perfect. They're not, uh, they're far from as good as my teacher's ones, but I'm pretty happy with it. It was uh, quite good. I had Gary beside me saying too hot, too cold, you know, not quick enough, too slow. It was just really good having someone with experience beside me as I'm learning. He did a couple of the ones in here where 
that were all tucked away and really hard to get to. I'm 95% happy. We do have one other spot. I'm going to drop this down. There's spots where I wasn't consistent. I've burnt in a little bit here and there, but hey, it's all part of learning. So these are old and they are showing. There is some stress cracks here. And there was a lot of stress cracks around here where the previous weld was. That's why we moved that forward and we put a bead here, but we also put a bead underneath and down the side. So it's off a different stress point now. For the last 30 years, it's probably been pivoting there and you can see all the little cracks and they're only gonna get worse. Corrosion will get in, but we just done what we could do with what we had. So obviously new is nice, but this is what we've got to work with. There is one bit here, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. So I'm in two minds what to do here. I cut these little plates out and welded them on. I still do have a little bit of cracking here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of cracking there, which is not good. So what I'm thinking to do, I've got a decision to make. Bloody decisions, hey? I can either put a bolt down here where it's all new and nothing's been pivoting off it. And then obviously we have these two still up there. Or I can cut these off and put two new plates on. I don't really feel like doing that. If you have a look at the back side here, you can see where it's all cracked, but we have a backing plate obviously over all that. I would like to put two new plates on. It's a lot more work and we want to get back in the water. In time, will it eventually crack? Maybe. But will it get us in the water for now? Yeah. And if I stick another bolt in here, it's got a whole bit of fresh, it's pretty much where, well, really, if we cut that off and bolted that, it'd be no different. So I think for now, we're just gonna put a bolt in here, two bolts back in the existing holes and call it done. But yeah, it's not pretty. There is definitely stress cracks all through that where it's been pivoting. But that's the worst of it. And hey, if it cracks in time, we've got a welder on board. By then I'll probably be a bit better and uh, do a better job. Still got a couple little things to do, a bit of detail work, cut these pins down, drill a couple of holes in there, put some uh, cotter pins in here with the washer. Pretty happy there. Oh, pretty nice. Good job, honey. I think you did a really great job. Only one way to see. Once we put it on the boat, they don't fall in the water. When we pull anchor, we'll be right. We're driving to Phoenix and then I am getting on a plane flying to San Francisco. I'm gonna have a week with my brother, my new nephew, and my brother's wife. I'm leaving the family, right? Mid boat work, we've got 33 days to go and I'm leaving. It's a hard one, I want them all to come with me. Uh, I'm so used to being around Lee and the kids that yeah, I don't think I've ever gone anywhere by myself, probably in 20 years. So this will be new for me, but I'm gonna have a great time. I'm just gonna go cuddle a baby for a week. Just picked up our packages. We are loaded in the back. Thanks again, Chuck and Deborah, for collecting our packages. Such a massive help, and we love you guys. Um, these guys are going to go and unbox it all. I don't think I've got time. We're going to miss out on opening all the boxes. We are blown away by all of the people that have brought off our Amazon list. Thank you so much. It's so helpful. Even if it's something little, it's so helpful for us, and we appreciate you guys. Um, you are the reason and our community is the reason why Catal Patu is going to get back in the water. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Ben. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, guys, <laughs> I'm just focusing He's concentrating. On the Taj just got some new diver fins, which is super cool. They've got his artwork all over them. Check them out. It's going to look amazing oh, while yeah, he's so cool. spearing fish. Wow. Anyway, I'm leaving my beautiful family. And I'm going to see my other beautiful family <laughs> and meet my nephew and um, have a week away. So I'm going to be in San Francisco and these guys are going to finish all the boat projects without me. Not about that, it's party time. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> and I'll be back in a week. Uh, but we got to get to the airport and then these guys are hopefully they're going to film. Right? You're going to film everything while I'm away. They're all over it. Aren't you, Belle? Okay. Bell, what about me? Yeah, you 
I've just dropped Sarah off at the airport and Bella, Taj and I have pulled up to a bin in a car park and we've picked up our passes, parcels from Chuck and Deborah. So thanks again guys, Chuck and Deborah, for letting us uh, drop all these parcels or get them delivered to your place. We really appreciate it. We're going to quickly try and open these as quick as we can because we've got to get moving. We've sort of come up to Phoenix, we've picked up our parcels, we've dropped Sarah off, we've got a few little items to pick up and provision a little bit and then we're going to get back down to Puerto Penasco tonight so let's get into it all right thank you Tom you're a champion I appreciate that so much thank you Paul we I applaud you've got us a couple of things thank you again thank you thank you thank you David thank you David from Lee thank you Robert Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, Paul. It's got a fuel water separator. Thank you, Beyond. Thank you, Samuel. We and thank you, Thomas, again. We've got thank all you, our Groco fittings too. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sunfield. Thank you all so much. If we missed one of your names. One more. Thanks, Thomas. Just know that we appreciate you and we're sorry we didn't call your name out. Now we're going to go to Home Depot, some other place, some other place, and then back to the boat. Hopefully before the border shuts. So, is Home Depot better or is Bunnings better? Oh, that's an interesting one. Obviously the... Bunnings because they got hot dogs. No, oh, they, they got no sausage, sausage out the front. There's no two dollar sausage over there from the local surf club. Yeah, it's not bad, I'm not complaining. Dad, Taj and I have been driving around to shops and getting stuff. Went to Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, American Bunnings. Oh, I forgot what it's called. Home Depot. Went to Home Depot. And we went to another sh a welding shop to get the gas bottles. The welding gas field. And what else? That's about it. Now we're just heading back. Taj and Dad have gone in to get one final run, which is to get some meat. And well, then we'll be heading back. Three o'clock, we want to get back before seven because that's when we have to take the car back because they shut at like seven or eight. So that is the goal. Let's go. That's it for another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Join us next time as you see how much boat work the family get done while I'm away.